Uh, but there is a secret island over here. Or secret, quote unquote. Uh, it doesn't really show up on the map. And how you get there is going to take forever. Like, literally forever here. It's this island over here. If you look at the map, it's not on here. There's no island listed here at all. But there it is. And can we get there? Yes, we can. As with actually most things in this game, as long as it's not in the red area, you can get there. How, how we're going to get there, though, is going to be convoluted as can be. So if you have not seen this pop up on Reddit or Twitter, then I'm going to show you how to get to this secret island. So first, you will need a frost character who can freeze the water. <clears throat> I only have one at the moment, so I'm going with him. Take her off. Summon our boy. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. We're going to switch to four, and then we're going to do this. And yes, if you can imagine, this is going to take forever. So I'll talk for a little bit about my experience in Genshin Impact while we wait for this slow crossing. If you try to fly, you will run out of stamina. If you try to swim, you will run out of stamina. This is literally the most effective way to get to the island. Yes, it takes forever. Shoot, we can time us right now. What am I on the stream? I'm at 15, 30 seconds? All right, let's see how long it takes. You can add an extra few seconds or whatever since we got down here. Uh, Genshin Impact, again, I've, I said this, I sung its praises when I streamed it a while ago. Uh, it's such an amazing free-to-play game. And, like, it's so gorgeous. I was telling my wife, um, about this this morning or yesterday. Something like that. Uh, recently I was telling her about how, you know, like, you know why I really love this game? It's because unlike most gacha games, most gacha games are idle games. Or they're tactical turn-based games. Stuff like that. And if you come across something that's way out of your level zone, you're 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 kind of screwed. In those gotcha games, like you're you're screwed. There's nothing you can do if it's not within your level, right? And in in this game, however, since it's all action combat oriented, if you come across things that are aren't of your level, you can absolutely still do it. Uh, and the perfect example, I think this was this morning. The first example is because of last night. When we discovered this secret island, my wife's account isn't as far far along as mine. She's uh, trying to catch up. But she works like crazy hours right now because they're understaffed where she's at. But uh, she's, she's underleveled. So she's still um, rank 12 or something. So her characters are at 20... She is playing on the PlayStation, so she gets that little boost of the Traveler having that... Oh my god, do you not know? If you don't play on the PlayStation version of this, they have this exclusive sword they get that is so freaking powerful. Because when it's equipped to the Traveler, you gain like a bonus 60 damage or something. I was like, that is insane. Why? Why do you get to have that so early on? Oh shoot, I gotta keep up with this. Yeah, these things melt pretty quickly. I have to keep up with the timing, otherwise I have to start all over. Shoot. That was dumb of me to hesitate. Um, anyways, so she's behind. So her max level is like level 20. Her max character is level 20. Uh, and we managed to win the upcoming fight that you'll see. The recommended level for this quest line that we're going to be on, this because it's going to be a little quest line on this island, is like 40. It's crazy long. And it was one of those things where I was like, but as long as we do some kind of damage... We can do this. Turns out, yes, once you get to the fight here, or fights, as you'll see, um, yes, you even at level 20, even at level 20. So, by the way, if you're wondering, you can do this without having to progress super far. Even at level 20. Now, she did have level 20 character and level 20 weapons, so she did max those out as much as she can. But even at level 20 with hardly, I think, one artifact she had leveled up. That was it. So, she didn't level up her artifacts. Just in case anyone thinks, like, it's completely maxed out, no. Is a maxed out weapon and character, but not artifacts. She, we managed to do it. Uh, we were going back and forth on this. I kind of finished it because the questing was taking too long for her, and she had to go to bed. This was at like eleven o'clock. She's got to wake up at like six, uh, five thirty for. Well, she had to wake up at five thirty to get dressed. She has to leave at six for work. But anyways, I, I digress. So, yeah, like as long as you're able to do some kind of damage, even if it's tiny damage, you can do it. And that's so crazy compared to most gacha games where if you're under leveled by like five. I mean, shoot, sometimes if you're at the same level as whatever stage or whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter. You cannot 
progress because your characters will just insta die. In this game, since you can dodge out of characters and you control it first person, well, third person in this case, but you're controlling it, you absolutely can do things that are out of your level range. And I love that so much because it makes it such an amazing game. Yes, it's a gotcha game, of course, but it's more of an action game. I would say it's more, oh shoot, I hesitated again. That was dumb. I would say it's more of an action game before it's a gotcha game. Um, it's got it's it's an actually it's a free to play action game that's got gotcha mechanics as their uh, their monetization scheme. But I really like honestly, I told I told the wife I want to support them. Like as much fun as I'm having this game, and as much as as great as this model is, again, it's free to play. Yes, but you can do everything you need with the four characters it gives you. I mean, shoot, five because you get in game currency to get Noel early on. Plus, uh, you have enough to get another one. Because with the new players starting, I think it's like eight orbs to summon twice. You have enough to get characters early on. And just, you that's it. That's all you need. You have four, five guaranteed characters. Because you're guaranteed to get Noel. And then the chance to get another one uh, with the in-game currency. It's, it's great. Like, I really love the model they have with this. I've never heard of MiHoYo, the company uh, that made this game. I've... Actually, that's a lie. I might have heard of them before on the iOS store, but I've, I've, they're not a company that I've ever paid attention to or I gave any second thoughts about. So it, they were never in the forefront of my mind. But this is actually, like, the game they have here is so, it's so great. Like, I, I gush about it so much. And I want to support them, so I did buy the Battle Pass, in case anyone's wondering. <clears throat> if you didn't know they had a Battle Pass, that means you haven't reached level 21, 19? 19. I think it's only 19 or 18. I don't know. You have to reach a certain adventure rank and you unlock the battle pass to start progressing in that. Which is kind of easy, if you get what I mean. Um, because that means people who reach ranks, whatever rank it is, I want to say it's 18 or 19. People who don't re who don't unlock the battle pass early on have less days then, don't, don't they? Because the battle pass said it's active for 43 days when I first started it. Um, actually, it was like 42 and a half, which tells me like... This was going like this about like if you unlock the battle pass, if you reach rank 19, whatever, in like a month, then does that mean you only have two weeks to play with it? Like that's kind of it's kind of ishy, isn't it? So I didn't like that. So anyway, seeds of stories brought by the wind. You see, we're way over there. OK, so we're this is the secret island. It took us forever to get here. There are some crabs you can capture here to bake later on bake. Um, all right. So I know what to do. So I'm going to be progressing this pretty quickly. This is for you guys to learn how to get here and how to do this. What's the hurry? All right, so I gotta make sure. Oh shoot, is my volume even up? All right, hold on. Quick, quick editing here. Volume mixer. No, it is not. I am so sorry. Well, whatever. I was talking this time, anyways. <laughs> Stories brought on by the wind will bloom into legends in due time. What does this even mean? Paimon has no idea. Still, this place looks like it hides some secrets. Let's check the area out. We might find some clues. Okay, so first of all, there's a... Um, I forget what, what, what it's... Hurry? I can't pronounce it. The orb thing for the wind, for the animal god. Um, there's one here, but it's really hard to kind of get to. You gotta be super quick. <clears throat> so here's the route that we found that was most effective. So if you want to copy this and copy this. So right here, immediately dash and sprint. And just keep sprinting as much as you can. Now we do have extra stamina. I have extra stamina on this account. My wife did it with less stamina. So if that makes you think like, oh, it's impossible. She did it with less than what I have. So it is entirely possible to still get here off of one sprint. And then bam. And yes, that first one will like run out before you even get there. So in case you're wondering, oh, that looked easy. No, if you don't. You need at I, th I want to say you le need at least one, if not two levels of stamina from the blessing of the god or whatever. All right, so you can investigate some of these uh, mounds here. They'll give you some loot. Nothing super crazy here. Um, oh hello, lucky dog's clover, animal sigil. There's some good stuff here. Uh, I want to say there was one more chest, right? No? Maybe? Uh, there's some of these mounds here you can mine, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right here. There we go. I was like, I know there's What's more the chests hurry? here. 
Yeah, you see him? See him? Let's take him out. So this is kind of funny because on the wife's account, there's three golems on this island, but only one of them ever activated. It was not this one. It was actually a different one. Oh, shoot. That was terrible. Dang it. I was trying to hit him before he launched. Oh, shoot. I forgot to revive Barbara. I don't have my healer. All right, it's all right. We got this, though. Let's go over here, big boy. There we go. There we go. And of course, my traveler still does my most damage out of anyone else. Oh, whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Although Fischl still does a ton of damage for me. And that was perfect, but... There we go. So yeah, use the rocks to your advantage whenever he goes into those missile forms. You can easily dodge those. Sometimes, yeah, like that. Okay, sometimes you can actually stop this. Oh shoot, that was my bad. I thought I stopped it. You just gotta aim, right? It's a little difficult. There's the other golem right there on the floor. Yeah, my facial's upgraded by two talents, I think, so she does a ton of damage. He's already almost gone. Shoot, I'm stuck here. And he's got a little bit of immune time before you can hit that core again. Shoot, I thought that was it. There we go. Chaos device. So that's a little tip on how to beat those if you haven't come across them yet. Yeah, okay, so on her account, that wasn't the one that activated. I'll show you the one that activated on hers. This one didn't. Um, he doesn't move. I want to say there's one more. There's like one or two more chests around here. Ah, right there. Is it chests? Got some good stuff. Uh, one here. No, up here. No. Was that it? That might have been it. Yeah, this was the one I think that activated. Or no. No, 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 no. It wasn't this one. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, no, yeah. There's that one. There's one on the wall. Oh, shoot. See, on hers, the one that activated was over here. He was like right, he was right here. So that's interesting. I guess he spawns in different locations. So tip for you, I guess. Okay, so yeah, there's some investigations here. And then the way to progress the story on this island is right here. Whoops. Okay, by the way, before I forget. Ready, steady, go. There we go. And heal everyone up. It seems somebody's notes, but what's the scribbled on the top? Let's open it and have a closer look. <clears throat> we will do that. That way you can see what it says. I think it's over here. Oh god, there's so much stuff here. I have so many books. Letter... This one? Yeah, here we go. The words on this sundial seem to follow on from the one by the Thousand Winds Temple. Taken together, the four lines then discover the, deliver the complete message. This place in the Thousand Winds Temple must have something to do with a god of time. How ironic that the ravages of time have devoured all traces of the god who supposedly presided over it. Also, the literature says that some ancient thinkers believe the Animo Archon to have some sort of connection with this god. If that is true, there must be some evidence of that here somewhere. Generally, that would be in the form of elemental evidence. Also, it definitely feels particularly strange around here at a certain time of day. It starts around 2 a.m. and is over by 5 a.m. at the latest. There is this sundial here, after all, and in the early hours of the day, the blade, shallow blade shadow falls directly downward. 
quite striking, which is why it stands out in my memory. But I'm no vision holder, so while I can tell that something's up and theorize what the cause might be, there's no way for me to investigate it properly. Honestly, these days, trying to be an academic when you don't have a vision is really restricting. So this confused us for the longest freaking time, because we had no idea what it meant. We kept setting the dial. What we assumed was we had to move the day and eventually this shadow would point right at that center. No, they said straight down when it points straight down. But it also did tell you straight up what you had to do. So first go to your time clock. This works with PC and PS4, by the way. Set it to 2 a.m. down here. All the way down. Okay, then open up your vision. And you'll see uh, you're looking for these orbs. You fo can follow the trail, but what you're looking for is these orbs. See that orb in the distance? Sorry. That one. That's what you're looking for. So once you get there, and if you don't have it equipped, make sure you have an animal character. Wind blade. You need to wind blast those things. It seems to Paimon that this can be easily scattered by the wind or something like that. I don't, I'm sorry. I didn't read it quick enough. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. My throat is like so messed up here. Doesn't make for great audio, does it? Come on. All right, let me stamina up a little bit. I just happen to know where the other one is. So, by the way, in case you're wondering, right there. Wind blade. Disperse the cluster of wind. There's one over there. Okay, so this one I couldn't get to last time, and I had to actually kind of... With hers, I had to use a tornado. I don't want to waste a tornado, so I'm going to try something here. Try this. And then this. There we go. Huh, it worked. And the last one is over in the back of the sundial. Get some stamina back up. By the way, you have to do this between 2 and 5 a.m. If you suddenly don't see the orbs anymore and they're gone, that means it probably went past 5 a.m. and you need to redo it. An ancient tale comes whist in the wind. All right, got a big drink of water. Let's do it. Now this is boss fight time. In case you're wondering, the boss is like level 36. I did do it at level 20. It's 100% possible to do this before, but I am using level 40 characters with the exception of Kaio, who actually I might go ahead and switch out. Party set up. Let's see. But who would I switch him out for? I don't know if I'd switch him out for Amber. Although I would like some range. Barbara, I need Barbara. I, I need my healer. Or at least I did in the other one. I mean, I don't know about this one, actually. Um, I don't know, it's actually a really hard choice. Overall, I think I want range, so I might go with... No, I don't know. Yeah, who's got the most health? Amber has more health? Wait, what? Max health. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll just keep it as it is. Screw it. I'm fine. I'm probably not even going to use them anyways. Alright, ready? You come here, and then... Load it up. And there you go. Eye of the storm. Shoot. Shoot. Damn. Okay, so this shouldn't take too long. My facial is like super leveled up. Her weapons, her artifacts, her character level are all at 40, I think. Not her artifacts. I don't think her artifacts are maxed out yet. But most of them are pretty high ranked. So he'll do this swirling thing. Just dodge to the left. It's fine. I like to load him up with some electricity first now if you don't have facial feel free to use amber again so if you're a free to play player for some reason you didn't unlock another archer or a ranged character you, you can use amber absolutely traveler does the most damage up front with your if, I mean he should really depends on how your playstyle is but I do de definitely recommend a ranged character 
You can do this completely melee because he'll come down sometimes like this. But I don't recommend it. I definitely recommend having a ranged character. On my wife's account, we use Barbara actually instead of an archer because Barbara just happened to have the most damage. Plus, we built her to survive. Like, she's built to constantly regain health. Yeah, this boss, like, it, he's super easy. It, this is taking such little time. When we played on my wife's account, it, it took, like, forever because we were doing such tiny damage. Like, I mean such tiny damage. One combo from Fischl took us, like, I don't know, 15 minutes. So, it took forever to get through this fight, but... Hey, when you're actually overleveled and you're super maxed out, pretty easy. So this actually won't last too long. Huh. I thought this fight was going to end up lasting a lot longer, but nope. Yeah, so once he gets to a certain health point, he's going to leave like the scared little wind god he is. He's not a wind god, but so whatever he is. Now, you're going to go to the center here. And you're just going to go straight up. Did it escape? Wherever it is, it definitely is an elemental life form with a reaction like that. That way it leads to Thousand Winds Temple. Come on, let's move those legs. Now you could just teleport there, but this is fun. Like, why not take the chance? Or take the opportunity? Where is it? Ah, there it is. Yeah, this is fun. I like doing this. So just come in here and whoosh along. Again, so yeah, his his fight patterns as you see are pretty easy. He slams down or he'll travel towards you. That's really it. That's all his attack patterns are. They're really easy to dodge. So yes, you can do this under leveled. It will take a long time. Again, the fight for us took a very long time uh, under her under leveled account, but it's still possible. We're just going to long kick. What up, boys? Instantly annihilated, because, again, they're underleveled. Compared to me, at least. Okay, what you want to do is talk to this guy, Henry Morton. Hmm, did you have some business here, Traveler? About the Eye of the Storm? The Eye of the Storm? I've been in this area this entire te team. Thing means time. And I've never seen any such thing, except for this sudden huge wind earlier. But I'm sure that wasn't an Eye of the Storm. I would have recognized that thing anywhere. What are you up to here, then? Me? I'm doing a bit of research. To be precise, I'm doing research together with a friend of mine. He's also a scholar, and we went to Sumeru Academia together. Academia? He became an archaeologist thereafter, traveling the world and doing surveys while I continued my studies in the Arca Arca Arcadia? Arcadia? I don't know. I can't pronounce it. When he came to Mondstadt, he told me exactly that he was surveying the Thousand Winds Temple. He even says something like, Once I've uncovered the secrets of our homeland, you're the first person I'll tell. I didn't hear from him afterwards. I asked someone to send Cyrus a letter requesting the Adventurer's Guild to help me look for my friend's whereabouts. But there was no news of him at all. And so I discontinued my studies and hurried back here. But there's nothing here but a sundial and no other clues. Well, there's a sundial on that island. What? There's another sundial elsewhere that's identical to this one and it's on an island? Oh yes, now I remember. I've actually seen that island sometimes when the weather's clear. Wait, you said you found a notebook next to the sundial? Did that fellow go there? Thank you. If I have the chance, I will head to that island to have a look. For now, however, I still have to figure this place out. I must continue my research. If you're interested, you can have a look at my research notes. I left it over there. Who knows, perhaps there's something in there that might help you. His research notes are up here. Thick notebook. Inventory, quest items, thick notebook, read it up. The phrase, time in the wind, seems like it may have something to do with the Animo Archon. Well, couldn't this fellow be clearer? What am I supposed to puzzle out with just these three words? If it has something to do with the Animo Archon, then whatever clues may be found should also be related to the Animo. Then, if one of the factors in the idea of time, this sundial over here should hide some secret. Moreover, I do get the odd feeling around this place sometimes. I think it might have been 2 in the morning? Actually, when was it again? I really can't remember. I only remember some time before dawn. The shadow cast by the sundial's pointer points right below it. But, well, fine. The lecturers in the academia used to say that it would be best for people without visions not to take part in the pr practicum, such as outdoor surveys. I didn't understand what they meant then, but I suppose I do now. 
Even if I, even though I did find a clue, all, all I could do without a vision is watch. I wonder if the Adventurers Guild can help me find someone who has vision and is willing to help. Speaking of which, why is Monstaff's Adventurers Guild still so tiny? I don't know. I do worry about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. Well, Fischl's got worries about home. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to set this to 2 a.m. All the way over. Try to do as much time as I can. I like the ticking sound. It's relaxing. And then cast sight. And it's all here. Now, don't be a dummy like me. When I was on her account, I blasted all of these orbs at once. And I was like, okay, so I can I can I can blast them all at once. Nope. Do not do that, please. If you blast all the orbs at once, it's just gonna summon a ton of these wind slimes, and then you were kinda screwed because there's nothing at a level 20. Okay, this is if you're a lower level. If you're lower level, you'll get overwhelmed pretty easily. I'll actually show you what I mean since I'm overleveled on this account. Sorry, kind of messed that up. So wind, and then I'll just do this. Screw it. See, it'll summon the big one, and then you have a bunch of these to deal with. So if you're under leveled, deal with these guys first and pop the orbs one by one. Because otherwise, you're gonna be in for a really hard time. Midnight Phantasmagoria. I mean, shoot, I'm actually kind of having a hard time here. Freeze the wind. Okay, that's it for those. Now, yes, right as I was going to say. Okay, so throughout this fight, he will summon these little air ones. I think he summons them three times, but also summon the hilly trolls too. So be careful. The hilly trolls? I said the hilly trolls. I meant the abysmals. Okay, so right here is really annoying. He's gonna. You want to find? You want to get off the ground, really? He'll summon these little pillars like this that you can jump off. I messed that up as I attacked. Um, it'll help you avoid some of the damage, but. Be careful when he does that. That's like his ultimate move right there. If you're under leveled, it will one shot one, if not two, of your characters. So try to stay in the air when he does that. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, he'll summon little pockets of air you can fly, fly and float up on. Go to the left. I always go to the left. Sometimes I go to the right and he still hits me, so. I've had more success going left than right. He should be close to summoning another... Uh, another set of monsters here in a bit. Get back a little bit, so maneuver. And just keep attacking. My archer does too much damage, so I'm fine. There's a second set of enemies. Abyss Mage, take care of him first because he's really annoying. That's always my preference there. Oh, shoot, my God. Get some loot while I'm at it. Remember, he will keep summoning uh, enemies at various points of health. No, don't just rest on your laurels once you've beaten them. Take care of the, take care of these guys first, because they will eventually overwhelm you. It can also be really annoying if they knock you out of your dodge or something, and then you get hit by the boss. So a lot of the advice I'm giving, by the way, is for people who are under leveled. I'm literally going based off the way I first dealt with this guy, and I dealt with him under leveled at level 20. Notice he's level 40. He was level 36 on the island. He's level 40 now. So, again, I dealt with him while underleveled. I'm overleveled now, because I'm on my primary account here. Uh, I'm not playing my wife's account or anything, so... This is a lot easier of a fight, but again, the advice I'm giving is for people who are underleveled. This is still doable, because I, I did it. I'm proof. 
Midnight Phantasmagoria. Shoot, I got I stayed here. I stayed there. Cool. I need to heal the others, so I'm gonna use Barbara for a minute. It's close to using your ultimate. You want it now? Barbara's ultimate heals on my other units. <clears throat> that should be the last set that he summons, I believe. And this should be it. Taken. Oh, there's another one up there. I forgot he summons one up there. <clears throat> it's okay. He's already almost down anyways. I actually find out if this Abyssal Mage will despawn. Yep, looks like he does. What a mighty wind. Beginner's protector. <laughs> Want the loot? Traveler, come over here. Where did this thing come from? It wasn't here before. How did you summon it? Well, you give Henry Morton a detailed account of how the riddle was solved. Ah, so that's time in the wind. So there's another sundial exactly like this one on the island, am I right? And the method to solve this riddle is the same. Then there must be some link between these two sundials and the two places they are located in. I must find a way to get to that island and quickly. Thank you, Traveler. Once I have made some preparations, I will look for you and we shall visit that uninhabited island together. So possibly a part two to this quest. I haven't seen a part two, so it's actually be interesting to go and find out. I wonder. Yeah, I really do wonder. Actually, is it in my quest log? Because we did this and then immediately logged off. Or I did immediately logged off. Wolves territory. In case you want to know where I'm at. After the storm. Okay, no. It's not that. No, I guess not. Maybe I just have to find him somewhere eventually. He says he's got to find it. Oh, wait. He's right there. What? what up? Oh, this island's so far away. How will I get across? You can use a wind glider. You could charter a boat. I thought so, too. And I didn't remember that you could charter one at the Dormant Port, but that's way too far away. I couldn't possibly construct my own boat and learn nothing about that in Arcadamia. Does he know how to use a wind glider? Forget it, I've been shut indoors ever since joining the Samaria Academy. I've even gone on door activities. You really can't use your wing glider at the academy either, so I probably returning returned all my glider gliding instructing teaching books back to them. So maybe I have to find a boat or something, and eventually that quest will continue. But I don't know. But anyways, that's how you do that quest. I hope that helped. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what level you did it. If you did it under level, then congrats, man. I wanna know. I wanna know. Like let me know. But it's really fun. It was, it was a cool thing we found out completely on our own. And then literally this morning, the next day, it's I see people on Twitter talking about, like, when you just got to slowly cross a, a lake with Kaya. And I'm like, eh, I'm not the first to post this. God dang it. Like, man, I was so upset. I was hoping I, I discovered something. <laughs>